Hi, my name is Terry Dumont Tavasoli and welcome to my electrical training channel. If you found this video informative, you can help me rank higher on YouTube by hitting the subscribe and like buttons. Please comment below and let me know if you have any suggestions for our future videos. Hello again, this is Ferry Noon and we are discussing charging and discharging of a capacitor in an electrical circuit. What I've done, I've built this circuit on Multisim. I've already uh, made another video to show you how to uh, simulate circuits or build circuits on Multisim and simulate them. It's a very simple circuit consisting of a capacitor and a resistor and also a supply. These are obviously the wires, the ground, you need them, and two switches. So this, this switch is a two-way switch, and this one is just a normal uh, one single uh, switch. Right, I've attached a voltmeter here, uh, and I've set it on volts DC. What I want you to do is, you need to make a table like the one I've already done here, charging and discharging on Excel. You go on Excel, <coughs> Microsoft uh, or Excel and make a table with one, two, three, four columns for charging of the capacitor and three for discharging of the capacitor. And you put on the first column your time, your time in minutes, from zero you start every half a minute and um, you just basically write this half a minute one minute one and a half minutes two minutes and record your voltage of the capacitor in this column and then for discharging you, you write your time again same way I have to move this across this is your graph I'll tell you how to get that graph in a minute uh, so you have a column again with your time uh, you use your stopwatch to, t to time this and take the measurements of the voltage of the capacitor the other two columns for charging and the last column for discharging can be calculated so th this is the formula for, for current I voltage of the capacitor div divided by the resistor in the circuit and for charging you have these two columns once you've got these two, two these values of the voltage of the capacitor in the circuit then you can say voltage of the resistor is 10 minus voltage of the capacitor 10 is the voltage of the supply take away from the voltage of the capacitor what's left is your the, the voltage of the resistor and current can be found with ohms low voltage of the resistor divided by resistance itself it gives you the current in amps once you've done all that now let me let me tell you how to actually let me show you how to actually get those measurements of the voltage of the capacitor for charging voltage of the capacitor discharging so these are the two columns you really need to fill you've already filled the time once you've made the table the first thing you do you just fill these values these are set every half a minute the same with charging every half a minute and you go all the way till it's fully charged and this case right first thing you do you uh, draw a table with four columns for charging of the capacitor and fill the first column with just minutes your time in minutes uh, zero half a minute one minute one and a half two two and a half and go all the way to around about 20 minutes and you can you can change those to however minutes that you need to fully charge your capacitor depending on the size of your capacitor obviously in this case i've picked my in my circuit uh, i've picked a 470 microfarad capacitor and 470 kilo ohms resistor and the voltage is 10 10 volts uh, what we're doing is you you start with your stopwatch at zero obviously you don't have any voltage so zero is zero and make sure it's zero actually so to, to make sure that the capacitor is zero you use this key uh, I've chosen a as my key 
So by clicking A on the keyboard, you can switch this on and off. And you make sure it's zero. If it's got residual voltage to begin with, or you've charged it by mistake, let's say you've just connected it to that and, and started the circuit and voltage started going to suddenly to 10 volts because uh, you, you haven't set it right. So what we do, and then if I, if I move this, your voltage is decreasing, but it's not doing the right way. So make sure if, if you want to start the charging first, this is now at the moment it's discharging. If you want to charge it, make sure you connect this to short it, short the capacitor, uh, zero it. Once it's zero, then connect this, stop, start the stopwatch. Once you started the stopwatch, as, as, at the same time you press this one, then it starts charging. This is where most of the students go wrong because what they do is, before they simulate, they open this circuit here, so the capacitor is not charged, and they connect this to that and then simulate it it starts suddenly 10 volts this is the this is the wrong way of doing things if you want to see the charging of the capacitor in the simulation mode and in, in this kind of um, software so what you have to do is switch this off make sure this is connected to that and this is connected to this uh, and then start it so it's zero basically this is now connected short circuited and then once you do that you connect this to that and then start the stopwatch as soon as you press this a key a so it starts charging every half a minute you look at this value of the voltage and record it in this table <clears throat> so every half a minute you record your voltage from your your reading from this circuit and once you've filled the table you've filled all the column for charging then you can come and calculate the voltage of the resistor which is 10 minus vc and you can see that in the circuit if you take away voltage of the capacitor from the supply voltage you find the voltage of the resistor it's a series circuit so Kirchhoff's voltage rule uh, applies so you can see the voltage is increasing and it, it takes about 20 minutes I'm not gonna stay stay here for 20 minutes for uh, the capacitor to charge so what we do <coughs> go back to the table I've already filled this table. The table is done. Let me show you from distance a little bit. Zoom out so you can see. The table is filled for charging and discharging. So this table is my charging. Yeah, what you do, this is your time. And this is your voltage that you've recorded every half a minute. And then you come here to the table. You put the circuit away you come here and calculate these two columns voltage of the resistor and voltage uh, current of the circuit and then you do the same for discharging uh, this you fill the time every half a minute obviously you just put the values there every half a minute half a minute one minute one and a half minutes two minutes two and a half minutes and go on all the way to you know, 20 minutes for this circuit for it to be almost fully discharged and then record the voltage at zero uh, your voltage is almost 10 volts, 9.9995 volts. Now, if you notice this one, this is still uh, going up. Uh, I have switched it off, but when you switch it off and switch it on while this key is open and this one is closed to the battery, to to the battery, like connected to the battery, then your voltage suddenly rises, suddenly goes to 10 volts because it doesn't wait to charge it just fully charges because we haven't set it to zero and uh, follow that procedure 
So it's just the way this simulation works. In reality, it doesn't work that way. In reality, if you do it this way or however you do it, it still has to fill up the capacitors, plates. So it still takes a long time to fill uh, or get fully charged. But in this uh, simulation, this is how it works. So make sure this is open now for discharging. Connect that and then start simulation. That is your 10 volts uh, to start with. When you want to discharge now, this is charged, fully charged. When you want to discharge, at the same time as you press this one, you ignore this one now, you have nothing to do with this anymore. Uh, at the same time as you press this key to this mode, which is basically discharging the capacitor through the resistor to the ground, at the same time you have to press your stopwatch and count and you see the voltage is decreasing now and record your readings from the voltmeter and record them here in front of your time every half a minute so you fill this column of the voltage of the capacitor as well for discharging and then uh, once you've done that for this column you have nothing to do with the circuit you just look at the values of the voltage of the capacitor divided by resistor which is a constant value in this case is 470 kilo ohm or 470,000 ohms and you get these values <clears throat> so if you, if you want to do that you, you can actually uh, formulate it so you can formulate one row and the rest you can drag it from this little corner down and it will just formulate the whole column you don't have to do every single one of them, calculate every single one of them. So you just calculate one row, the rest will be done automatically. Same with these two columns for charging. So <clears throat> if I zoom in again, show you how it's done. So what we've done is we've done for charging, for instance, we've done these two columns. So we come to this one and say, I've written the formula here, voltage of the resistor equals 10 minus VC voltage of the capacitor. Uh, now, when you press on that uh, room, in that square, you see the formula here. You can write the formula, you can say equals, so this room equals 10 minus VC. Instead of VC, you say B3. Why B3? Because B is your column of the voltage of the capacitor and the, the third, third row down, 1, 2, 3. So B3, 10 minus B3, which is 10 minus voltage of the capacitor, will give you the uh, voltage of the resistor for this, for this column. Right? And then, um, once you've done one room, you can, you can see this little bolded, highlighted uh, square here, a little tiny one. You put your cross over there, your cursor, your mouse, and drag it down like this. Drag it down all the way, for all the rooms. And then what it will do, it will just automatically formulate every, one, every single one of them. And it will give you the values for each one. If you have the values already here, it will calculate the rest of them. And you do the same for the other one. You come here and formulate this one. Uh, current is voltage of the resistor divided by R. So for this room, you say equals. What is the voltage of the resistor? Voltage of the resistor we calculated here. So it's C123 divided by resistor is constant 47, 470,000 or 470k. And that will give you this value. Once you've done that one, you drag again, drag from the corner, you drag it all the way down to the, all the boxes, and it'll give you the values. In engineering mode, so it's like 1.85319 times 10 to the power of minus 5. That is your current in amps. So that's done for charging, and you do the same for discharging. Once you've done the value, you've got the values for voltage. The capacitor, you formulate the current, and then there you have it. Now, the next thing 
you you might be asked to do or you want to do uh, is now the next thing you might want to do is to get a graph of voltage and the current of charging and discharging of the capacitor so if I go for instance if I want to get the uh, graph of voltage of the capacitor in charging mode or discharging let's let's just go to charging and say I want the graph to see how it looks like how it looks like when it's charging the voltage of the capacitor you go there again and highlight from the beginning now what I'll do sorry um, if you highlight the whole thing from uh, the title all the way down and by the way when you do this you have to um, highlight like this you can't drag this if you drag this like I just did by mistake it'll just drag the it'll just change the basically uh, room to the first one it's just copying it so we don't want that we want just to highlight so you start from this corner and you go all the way down let's say that's your all the way down and then ignore the graphs I have here let's just say I want to uh, plot a graph once you've highlighted that you go to insert click insert and then go to this charts you can choose any of these graphs you can choose this type this type that type or you can choose the bar and um, type just yes, like that so that's your charging and discharging and I'm choosing this one scatter and that just gives me more it's a nicer looking curve with all the values at different times so that's my capacitor voltage charge and that, that title because I highlighted the title that just came up on it as well so that's how you get the graph I can delete that one because I've already got the graph there and then you can do the same highlight the current of the capacitor while it's charging so this is the charging current of the capacitor or current of the circuit and then go to insert again choose charts and choose a different type maybe this type or however you like this one and that will be your current well I hope you like this one uh, this is this was the lesson for charging and discharging of a capacitor and how to make the graph how to plot the graphs of charging and discharging of the capacitor in a circuit both for current and resistor uh, both for current and voltage of the capacitor and that was the circuit for it so that's you see we've left it on discharge and it's gone down from almost 10 volts 9.995 volts down to 2.54 volts and that's how we said you take the readings <coughs> every half a minute you could take every every minute if you two minutes if you want but you, the, the, the closer your intervals are the more accurate your curve will be but I hope you enjoyed this lesson and see you again on Telesoli's electrical training channel